Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy TCG Discussions, aka Marcus from Team Takedown, and today I'm coming at you with my cell deck profile uh, from our shop championship for Union Force um, that I got second place at today uh, at P2 Collectibles. Um, now, uh, I want to admit up front, I built the deck wrong. Like, uh, I realized on my way home as I was thinking about my deck list and choices and decisions that I made, um, I went, I got to the finals, we were playing, but I was just making really bad decisions regarding what to charge. And then I realized uh, throughout the whole day that I had been making poor choices because of the way my deck was constructed. And um, not particularly trying to take away from anything. Uh, the guy who beat me, uh, Ty, he's absolutely fantastic, also part of Team Takedown. Uh, fantastic player. He played and piloted uh, Soul Striker Goku very well. Um, so yeah, um, but this is the uh, uh, like little trophy thing that we got uh, for the shop championship. Pretty cool. And a uh, huge sh shout out to P2 Collectibles far above the competition. Um, as always, they are a great store. And if you guys are in Muncie, I suggest you check them out. Um, so as I said, we played Cell. Um, and we did not play Cell with Cell Chain. We played uh, tricolor cell with black cards, so maybe quad color cell. I don't know, uh, but we we played cell. And uh, if you guys don't know what cell does, on this side you can filter a card from your hand underneath him, and then he can pop a battle card that has three or less energy uh, cost, and then you can draw two to awaken at four or less life. And then under this you can put a card under him, and then you can draw two cards. We really want to get to this early and as fast as possible because it's super good. And then um, you can remove two cards underneath him to uh, pop any like battle card your opponent controls, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, and the fact that it doesn't have an energy specification on it is also nuts. So like even seven drops, they they die to this. So super awesome. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So uh, Mass Saiyan, the Mysterious Warrior. Uh, this is our kale. This is super good. Um, it was a great all day. Extra pressure. Um, and really good removal. This is a card that, if you draw this, like helps you grind extremely well against uh, Soul Striker Goku. You're removing cards with this. If you have a Jiren on board, you can remove two cards of Jiren, and then you can just drop this. And it's like, wow. <laughs> wow. And then uh, we got Time Patrol Trunks, or TPT as I call them. Uh, TPT is just incredible. Uh, for many reasons. One, this card sets it up extremely well. So when you like remove uh, two underneath him to pop card, that's already two ready set up for that uh, that overwhelm that you need for him. And then uh, also overwhelm for this card. So like it, your drop area fills up pretty fast and uh, time patrol just helps you filter to the better cards that you need at that particular time. It can also filter out cards that you don't need. So like if um, you are already awakened and you are going to draw a TN, you just put the TN at the bottom of your deck. So yeah, time control trunks, super good. Uh, onto the blue for the best negate in the game. Not a lot to say about this card. Uh, Wisk Origin. Uh, this deck grinds extremely well, extremely well. And Wisk is just like breaks the mold of all grinds. So like he is just super awesome. Um, love Wisk and... Uh, it performed excellent today. Uh, four of the next card that helps you grind slash win, Sensabine. Um, this card either untaps energy and gives you the win or saves your life and gives you the win. That's just no other way to say it. Um, and Sensabine is just super clutch. I really, really uh, loved playing this card today. Um, and it was just really super helpful and getting me a little bit extra energy to just help either push on a shotgun or to untap enough energy to play another really big threat against my opponent. And then four of the underutilized, but yet still good card, Ultimate Judgment Jacko. So I say underutilized because I actually never use this to actually play what it does, which is to return a combo like piece to my opponent's hand. And uh, several times I uh, actually ended up charging this in energy. <laughs> like and or filtering it under self for either a pop effect or a draw effect and then removed it later for a pop effect. Um, but I never actually used it to like actually combo with it, return that, and then, you know, really go. I might have done that once. And the other times I used it to shotgun out. So like it, I wouldn't have been able to return anything because I was the attacking one. 
Um, but overall, I'm like not disappointed in this card. I'm just disappointed in my like lack of ability to utilize it to its fullest potential. And uh, <clears throat> that wraps it up for the blue. On to the green. Now, not all the green will be presented. Um, I will present the bottom six cards of the deck, the worst cards of the deck by far. Um, and I'll talk about that later. Um, but this card is definitely the uh, second best green card because after you take out the other six, you'd only be playing two green cards. But uh, Tien, uh, super awesome, helps you awaken fast. The faster you get to awakening, the more likely you are to win the game. Like honestly, with this deck, that's the way it is because every time you draw, you're a card deeper in your deck and then you're going to be two cards deeper, and you're going to be filtering under a card that is bad in your hand for two other cards that are probably going to be good. So, like, uh, Tian helping you get there is super awesome, and when you draw them after you awaken, guess what's going right under cell? <laughs> like, yeah, like it's it's so easy. Or you can just charge it for free energy. So, uh, either way, uh, Tian, super awesome. Super great. And then uh, on to the broken, and I say broken because uh, you'll get to, ooh, bump the camera. Anyway, uh, you'll you'll understand why this card's broken. Uh, 10K boost, super awesome, really love this card. Um, yep, and uh, time, uh, not time patrol, but uh, Trunks Protector of Children, uh, super good in cell, super, super good. And the reason why it's super, super good is because we played this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we get to search this out. And uh, by this, I mean this, and that is uh, super good. Mighty Mask was busted all day, and I, I just cannot stress enough how great this card is. Uh, it's super good because uh, late game, it becomes either free combo fodder, uh, free charge fodder, uh, free cell fodder, or it's searching me out 10k boost. Like, this card is never not good. This is probably the MVP card of the deck, free. Like, 100% free. And two of the underplayed card, I did not play enough of this. Uh, I played only two, Leap to the Future, Sun Goten. Um, it's because you can plus off of this. Like, I, I just need to play more so that I can get to more. I can either use it for Charge Fodder or use it for Cells Effect. I should have played more. Uh, three of the card that was, again, probably an underutilized card. I charged it most of the day. Um, but... Ability only Shelton Gohan uh, was pretty good. There were a couple times where I attack and uh, they couldn't take the double strike, so they would negate it. And now you get to draw a card. That was super nice. And then uh, uh, also, because it's a three cost, it uh, is a little bit easier to get out than some of the um, other cards we play that are big impact. Uh, on to our big daddy. <laughs> my favorite. This is my favorite card in the game, probably. Jaren Fist of Justice. Uh, absolutely love this card. He is incredible, um, and uh, especially in this deck because he is basic removal, right? Like he gets to swing for 30k and then stand himself and then swing again. And it's like if there is a card that's really a pest, I can get rid of multiples. If they bring in a 15k like Gohan or something, I swing at that for 30 like 30k. You're not really gonna want to combo over just to save that. And then, uh, not to mention, Cell can take care of it very easily on both sides. So, like, he just adds extra pressure, extra removal. Really love Jiren in this deck. And then three of the closer. And I say it's the closer because it's the closer. Uh, Ghost deck, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Uh, when this card is played, it drops three Ghost Tokens. And when your hand is at four or less, he and the tokens gain double strike. Pretty good. Not a lot more to say other than that, um, but just basically for like you basically play for double strikers at the end game, so uh, that's just backbreaking a lot of times. And then uh, the last cards, um, I'm about to go on a little rant here. These are the worst cards in the deck, hundred percent. They're just the worst. Um, like, um, let me I guess explain um, of the cards that we play in the deck that are green. And this is, this is what you call bad deck building, for the record. Other cards that we play in the deck that are green. Tien and Trunks Protector of Children. That's literally it. And so what I didn't understand, like, as I'm going throughout the day, is like, man, like, I'm not seeing enough of red. Or man, I'm not seeing enough of blue. Or man, I'm having to charge this red card, and I would really like to not have to charge that red card. And I'd be like, oh, well, I can just charge this instead. But then I realized, to, like, play this card, you need two green, right? 
And of the cards I just spread in front of you, you don't want to charge this unless I'm awakened, which a lot of the times when I would have this card, I was not. So this either got charged in energy or this did. And majority of the time, unless I wasn't awakened, two of these cards, one way or the other, two of these cards would be removed for charge water, leaving me with four cards in my deck that were actually viable to play for green. That is what you call bad deck building, 100% bad. It was just awful, don't play it. Do not play this variant with these cards. These two need to be Gotens. These probably need to be either Kabas or another blue card. And I would probably prefer Kabas because Awakening is so detrimental to this deck. And like Kaba can just go straight under and uh, if it's bad. And then like Goten's a plus one. Like I, there's just no other way to spin it. I built the deck bad. So um, and I, I managed to get second place, but this was horrendous. Do not play this. It was just awful. Um, yeah, that pretty much uh, wraps it up. Um, that was uh, Cell. Uh, Cell, destroy all these cards underneath, please. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, super great, guys. Um, to tell you my matchups, I played against uh, Mecha Frieza, Soul Striker, Goku. Um, then I played against uh, Buhan Mecha Frieza, which Buhan is super scary. Uh, super, super scary. And then I played against another Soul Striker, Goku. Um, and I went. Uh, uh, one, one, and what I, I, I basically went three and zero until the finals, and then um, I just got demolished by bad choices and bad, bad everything. Um, but huge shout outs to Ty. Uh, congrats for winning, man, and uh, taking it for the uh, taking home the championship for the team. And uh, congrats to everybody else who made top eight. It was super fun, super great event. And thanks again to P2 Collectibles for hosting yet another great event. And uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, in the comment section down below uh, any changes that you would like to make, what you think of the deck. And uh, this is TCG Discussions and Marcus from Team Takedown signing off.